We have to let them know that this new technology will bring miracles into their lives. And those three M's that God gave me, I shared with you. Don't throw them away, they're awesome. The first M, the mission. The mission does not change. Go into all the world. The message, it does not change. But the third M, the third M I shared with this mother right here this morning, the methodology. This mother was having some fear issues about going online. And I used this methodology to share with her. She don't have to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, uh, Bethel Amy Church, which is right down the street from Salem, is the oldest African American church in the community, and it was here before U of I. Salem Baptist Church is the second oldest in the community, was here before the University of Illinois. So Bethel was the first Methodist, and we were the first African American Baptist Church here. Uh, it's always been our goal to reach out and to serve others and to help those who are less um, less fortunate or those who are still struggling with some of the same issues that we were, were struggling with. So we could actually identify and relate um, more than empathy. We could actually relate to um, the issues that they were dealing with. So we always wanted to reach out to, to them. In African American history, uh, our church was our social gathering. It was uh, everything to us and we spent a lot of time at church. As far as I'm concerned, I grew up here at Salem Baptist Church. My favorite part about the church is, are actually the people. Uh, they are so warm and inviting. Uh, I live oh, about, actually my house is 70 miles south of here, uh, a little south of Charleston. And uh, we get up as often as we can to, to church. And uh, it's, uh, we like the AME uh, ceremony or the way they do things, the doc doxology, if you would. But we really like the people. So, so the, the biggest problem facing our church today, I think, is the, uh, adjusting ourselves to the economy that we're in and being open to, to new ideas, which this new technology is going to bring. I've, always, I've often told people that technology is nothing new. We've always had technology. It's just that technology now is our way of life. Back then we used it to live, but now we are, it's, it's our life. Well, because of the times that we're living in, we're living in a technology age, and it's becoming more and more and more prevalent, more and more evident that without these skills, without the abilities uh, to function and operate uh, in the technical world, that there will be many left behind. And. Um we have mimeograph machines, of course, telephones, and, and those different kind of things that we use to do our church bulletins and any kind of communication we had to go out. And the old typewriters I have in my home right now, I have two black upright typewriters that had no electricity or anything to them. You had to really make them work. Uh, we have members today who still are not computer literate and they are not um, up to speed. They don't, you know, they don't. They don't have computers, they don't, and, and even as simple as texting, we still have, um, you know, some members who are not, you know, savvy when it comes to just simply texting. We have a ministry that uh, go outside of our four walls. As I share with people many times, pastoral ministry actually began when we give the benediction. And if all I had to do was to prepare a sermon for uh, Sunday morning, I would be an awesome preacher, but it's all the work that we have to do to get us to Sunday morning. It's what ministry at. And so uh, with the economy the way it is, uh, with some of the, the social services programs being cut, the people still have need, 
just because you don't have the money to run the social service program does not mean that the people who it served went away. And so what's happening is those people now are coming to the church. And so we have to find a way to minister to them. And so I, I, I really believe that this new technology is going to be one key to help us uh, address that issue. Well, I, I know we added a new computer lab, so that's new at Salem. We also have many, uh, we're always trying to expand the youth activities here at Salem, so I hope we will continue to do that. And we're also trying to get um, more things going with our elderly. We recently started a homebound ministry where we go and visit our sick, sick and shut-in. So I think there are lots of opportunities. I hope our membership will increase in the future and we can bring more people in to do things. Well, we're very pleased to uh, have our computer lab in operation now and uh, certainly it has been uh, very beneficial uh, to those needing to, first of all, learn uh, computing and how the computer operates and to uh, work with their uh, emails and work with uh, compositions and what have you. And uh, we've appreciated uh, those who come together to make our lab what it is today. And we look forward to continue to advance and uh, uh, utilizing uh, the lab in uh, any number of ways. You need to get it on. <laughs> Could you tell me how you enjoyed the class today? Today I enjoyed I like this water word thing here. <laughs> Worder. Worder. I, am, I enjoyed it and how different designs that you can make your writing and stuff. Uh, do you think you'll be using it again? Yes. As soon as I catch on. <laughs> Uh, do you have anyone at home that uh, uses the computer? Yes, I have a teenage daughter, granddaughter that uses the computer. You know what would be a good thing? I usually ask my grandson. When I first came here, we only had maybe like one computer, which uh, was used as for the secretary, um, use only. Um, so over the past, you know, years, we've grown. Uh, now, with adding the New Hope Academy, uh, we now have been able to, you know, have computers uh, for the students to use to uh, uh, search the webs for their uh, homework assignments or just pull down grade reports. So it definitely has improved uh, from the earlier years. Uh, but still much improvement is needed. So, uh, this is something that is very, very important, and we, we, we're looking forward to offering this service. Okay. Uh, not only to our members, but to community, to the you know, community as well. Uh, and then uh, we have prison ministry, uh, women who um, are on parole or probation uh, who will be receiving reentry services from us. Mm -hmm. And so they will definitely need... Um, computer training. They will need access to computers so that they will be able to do job searching and take online courses and all of these kinds of things as well.